What is going on everybody? This is Stridox here bringing you a Rise of Civilizations video and in this video as you can tell by the title Joan of Arc is about to be maxed out and go into expertise on her skills. Guys if you don't know much about Joan of Arc she's one of the best purple heroes or commanders. She's literally one of the best. You're, you cannot get past the fact that she is one of the best and the reason why she's one of the best is because of her skills guys so let's take a look at her skills for a second dude look at this all I need is five more medals right here epic medals five more confirmed boom and I can now max out her skills and unlock expertise over here so let's take a look at her skills for the moment um, in the next two seconds Joan of Arc uh, grants her own troops and nearby friendly forces a powerful buff that increases infantry health by 30%, cav units by defense by 30%, and archer unit attack by 30%. And grants additional 40 rage per second. That's at 5 of 5, as you can see right here. The next one is gathering, uh, increased troop gathering speed by 25% and load by 25%. You can see all that right here on the preview. The next one, troops, normal attack, have a 10% chance to heal a portion of slightly wounded units. Healing factor, 450. Effect can only trigger 135 seconds. And then the last one, which I am maxing out right now, and that is the increased normal attack damage by 25%. Now guys, as you can see right here, she is just, the epic is purple, right? But once you uh, unlock expertise, it'll look like this. The Scorpio right here, which I made a video on before. It's maxed out. Expertise is now unlocked. And you can see the little purple outline glowing effect going on right here. That looks freaking dope. So, with no further ado, let's go ahead and max out Joan of Arc. Guys, again, this commander, this epic commander, is one of the best epic commanders out there. Even the best commander, period, uh, as a secondary. Um, that is due because of the skill set. Increased health, defense, and attack of all three types of units. And then on top of that, there's a healing factor involved. So, um, again, let's just do this, guys. Let's unlock expertise right here, right now. Let's go, baby. This is sick. Bro, I've been waiting for so long. For the two commanders I wanted was Scipio and Joan of Arc maxed out. And I got them. Here we go, guys. Expertise upgrade. Boom, boom, bam. Let's go. Increase normal attack damage to 25%. Level 4 to level 5. And here is the expertise right here. Watch it, guys. Watch it. Let's go, let's go, expertise, let's go, boom, oh my gosh, decent of the goddess. Now, this takes the uh, the first skill set up here, the healing, or not the healing, the increased archer and cav and infantry, all that kind of stuff. In the next four seconds, Joan of Arc grants her own troops and nearby friendly forces a powerful buff that increases infantry units. Health by 30%, cav defense, archery, all that stuff still the same, but grants an additional 50 rage per second, guys. 50 rage per second. Let's go, man. That is huge. 50. What? Dude, she, oh my gosh. Whenever her skill activates, it's just gonna it's gonna blow everyone's mind. It, it's gonna not, not even gonna be fair. Because 50 rage per second, it increases 30% on all three types of units right here is insane so um that's that's pretty dope guys that's, that's super dope so basically what i'm gonna do with her is what i've usually done with her if i'm just um we usually actually whenever i'm attacking cities i always use for example when, okay this, this city right here let's go ahead and scout it real quick make sure they didn't like come back to the game and like build a bunch of troops back so no troops right so basically whenever i attack this is how I usually, well, I have Astro Scipio's right here, so I can't use Scipio now, but usually I use Scipio and then, um, and then Julius Caesar as my, uh, secondary, uh, until I get Julius Caesar's troop capacity up higher, then I'll use, uh, uh, Julius to be my secondary, but anyways, right now, this is what I would do. So Julius would be my main, main person, and then I would throw in Joan of Arc, okay, because Joan of Arc, again, has huge, huge attack, well, uh, boost and bonuses to the battle and, and also look at this and nearby friendlies as well get the same boost you cannot beat that you cannot beat that guys let's go let's go to an expedition mode real quick and i have not been able to beat level 59 i want to see if i can beat level 59 
Guys, again, I have not. This was it's tough, dude. Eliminate all enemies, complete mission in 160 seconds, and all commanders must survive. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, man. Um, Scipio is gonna go with Joan of Arc. Okay, that's what we're gonna do here. Scipio is gonna go with Joan of Arc. Um, and then that's gonna be that's that's gonna be ready. And then let's see, Julius Caesar will take Boudica. Okay, that's what we're gonna do there. And then we're gonna have, hmm, minute, oh, no, actually, oh man, let's do Tomo, you know what, actually guys, we're gonna have to level up, we're, we're, we're gonna have to level up Minamoto to like one more star, because his, uh, his talents and skills are way better than Tomo, so I need any Minamoto to be leading the pack here, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and develop real quick. Go, 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 go. Develop. All right, I think that's it right there. I think that should be, there we go. Boom, boom, bam. All right, got that unlocked. So now let's go back into expedition. And let's, hopefully the troops are already made. Oh, no, they're not made. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and throw in Joan of Art. And then we're gonna put in Julius and Boudica. And the last but not least, we're gonna throw in Minamoto with uh goes in. so here we go guys we're gonna see if we're gonna win this we're gonna see if joan of arc skill actually helps because we were not able to uh win this before and scipio's gonna go over here and fight all three of these guys because scipio is just a beast especially with joan of arc so joan of arc is with scipio remember that guys so scipio is right here gonna be carrying the pack <laughs> with joan of arc we're gonna see if we can win again i was not able to beat this before it's tough, guys. Once you get up to like in the 50s, it gets extremely difficult to win, man. Like, it, I'm not gonna lie, it does. It gets really tough. But you can see Scipio right here fighting Julius Caesar. Oh my, Julius Caesar is the strongest one right here. Wait, actually, no, it's this one right here. Julius Caesar. Oh, where's the other Julius? Oh, he's back in the back. Oh gosh, dude. That's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough, boys. Oh my gosh. Again, I. I would like to get three stars, but it's definitely not gonna happen. Like, definitely, definitely not gonna happen. So right now, Julius is almost dead. Right here, we got Frederick almost dead, so that's good. Boom, all right, move these two up to fight this one. Scipio's doing pretty good right now. He's uh, sitting at 100 and, what was it, 148,000 troops. So um, 142,000, not bad. Not bad, it's just making me nervous. Um, Let's move up to fight Frederick. Oh my gosh, dude. This is what's, it's kind of making me nervous a little bit, boys. I might move Minamoto over here to help. Honestly, because Julius Caesar and Frederick all on one guy on Scipio. It's going to be a little bit challenging, but again, I, I know Minamoto is probably going to end up dying as well. Because they don't have very strong troops, you know what I mean? And they're not as strong as Julius and, uh, and Scipio. And, you know, especially, oh, actually, well, Joan of Arc, actually, his new skill set might be helping Minamoto out, you know, because, remember, it helps nearby friendlies as well, so that's really good. You can see over here, Hannibal's about to die. Julius Caesar's handling his stuff pretty well. We have a minute and 15 seconds left. Julius Caesar is not even 75% dead yet. He's roughly almost, I would say he's about 75%. We're getting close, getting nervous. Okay, Julius, oh, here we go. We have one minute left. Here we go, man. We need our Julius Caesar to hurry up over here and take out that Julius Caesar, bro. 55 seconds. He's about halfway through. Minamoto needs to try to stay alive, though. That's that's one thing that we need we need to happen. If he doesn't stay alive, that's gonna be rough. I'm just um, you can see, man. I, I'm telling y'all, I, I played this game before this this level 59 level. We did not beat it at all. Julius Caesar, everyone was stayed alive, but we were not able to beat Julius Caesar in a timely manner. That's the thing. So. Um, I'm thinking, guys, with Joan of Arc maxed out the expertise, we were able to beat this uh, Julius Caesar in a time when, with 23 seconds left to spare. We were able to beat it. That's insane. Before we were not able, we only got him like halfway without Julius Caesar max, so, or not with uh, Joan of Arc max. That's that's actually crazy. It actually shows unlocking expertise increased the chances of beating Julius Caesar right there by a ton, by at least. 
but bro, by at least 45 seconds, right? Right? I had time, a lot of time to spare. You know what I mean? Um, guys, I know I'm not gonna be able to beat level 60. I mean, I could try, but dude, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to beat it. Let's go ahead and try. Why not, bro? Let's make a video out of it. Let's go ahead and try this. It's gonna be rough. Frederick, 370,000 troops. Wow. Wow, dude. If we beat this, we'll be 60 out of 70. That'll be, oh my gosh, dude. That would be insane. Oh, all right, Joan of Arc. Let's see if, I mean, look at this. Minamoto's already taking big big damage already. Look at that. Minamoto is definitely not gonna survive. I'm gonna throw Minamoto in the back back here. Let me throw it, uh, change things up a little bit just so the troops got to turn around. I don't know if that matters really. All right, let's try attacking like this. Bro, look, they're like off the screen fighting now, bro. Where is, oh, there we go. We can, we can see it like this. There we go, we can see it like that, guys. All right, Minamoto's dead. You can see Minamoto just died. So now we have my Julius and we have uh, Scipio here. And he's not even 75% dead yet. He's like 80% maybe. 308,000 troops, two minutes left. He's dropping about roughly 1,500 troops at a time. It's looking like, yeah, about 2,000. But the thing is, he's also healing troops as well. Bro, Frederick is healing. Oh my god, dude, no. Oh my gosh, this is, this is tough actually. This is actually really, really, really difficult. I wonder... I'm sure you don't need T5 for this. Nah, there's no way. Dude, he, he's, 70, he's about 75%. Guys, I really don't think we're going to be able to beat this. I mean, the fact that he's healing troops nonstop is a struggle at, in its own, dude. You can see Scipio and Joan of Arc over here are actually holding up very, very well, which is good. Um, just Julius and Boudicca, they're not doing so great now. 35,000 troops on Julius. 121,000 on Joan of Arc and Scipio. Uh, guys, I don't think it's gonna happen. 60,000, 60% about taking off of Frederick. 232,000 troops left. We have a minute left. I don't see it happening, guys. It's gonna be uh, quite a while before we beat this level, unfortunately. Julius and Boudicca just went down, unfortunately. Now it's Scipio versus Frederick. Guys, it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, exit out of this, guys. Unfortunately, we're not able to beat level 60, but we were not. But we were not able to beat level 59, and now we are. Now we're uh, able to beat level 59, so that's pretty dope. So, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. You can see the glowing effect on uh, Joan of Arc now. She is maxed out with expertise, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If y'all did, please drop a big like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I am sponsored by ROC and I upload content every single day guys Turn the notification bell on to let y'all know when I upload videos as well and uh, guys I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day and uh, I will see y'all next video. Thank y'all so much for watching guys. Peace For the record been a little too nice to y'all now I got a up price for y'all snake guys on dice for y'all Shoulders on ice for y'all frozen a six all the hay. I won't get involved today Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars and flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record I still count wins when they got it